Russian armed forces continued to carry out illegal operations in the Kherson region. Russian troops launched airstrikes on towns and villages in Kharkiv Oblast, Zalaman, Dmitrivka, Bohorodikny, Zaitsev, Kodima, Soldar, Yakovlivka, Krasnokorivka, in Donetsk Oblast and Zaporozhye Oblast Dorozhania Kard. On the Pivdenyubu front, the Russians concentrated on defending previously occupied lines and positions and continued to shell the Kvitnev, Shevchenkov, Lyubomorivka, Novorayhorivka, Posad Pokrovsky, Ukrainka, Prybuski, Limony, Luparev, Mern, Oleksandrivka and Tavriysk areas. The general staff of the armed forces informed that the leaders of the military units of the 1st Army Corps of the Russian occupying power are taking measures to force conscripts to switch to a contract system, and it is impossible to be discharged within three years. Also, the one-time payment for entering into such contracts does not apply to this category, which greatly affects the morale and mental state of the employees. Russian armed forces continued to carry out illegal operations in the Kherson region. For example, the Russian occupiers shut down the Kakovka hydroelectric power plant, causing power outages in parts of the Kherson and Zaporozhye regions, 